243 AR-15. It's not the 243 Winchester, more like his little brother. So what is it? A six millimeter 223 Remington. It's a Wildcat cartridge, but don't be uh, fooled. This little bad boy is capable of doing 3,100 FPS out of a 16 inch barrel and does some crazy damage. Let's check this out. get into this caliber, all you really need to do is do a simple barrel swap. This one's made by Black Hole Weaponry and is capable of doing sub MOA accuracy right out of the box. Like I mentioned, I'm able to get 3100 FPS and I achieved this by cramming as much Hodgdon 322 into the case as possible. My current load is 26.7 grains, which puts me right at 3100 FPS. And the 6mm offers a lot of projectiles, everything from a 58 grain to a 100 grain Sierra Game King, I'm able to get some pretty good results. But today is about blowing stuff up and showing you guys how capable this round really is. That was a 75 grain Spear Varmint round at 2750 FPS. That's empty. But we got a hole here. Let's see if we caught a bullet. Just uh, pieces of it. And that's it. <laughs> Just pieces of it, and that was the spear 75 grain uh, hollow point. That's what's left. Let's try out the uh, 58 grain V Max. All right, last two jugs. Of course, this one is toasted. Look at that, flayed open. <laughs> and I got to the second one. You hear that? That's just fragments. So obviously these things are grenaders. So, but I have an idea to see if we could catch one downrange for expansion. Let's get to it. To simulate what this will do to a typical varmint, I got some cantaloupes downrange along with some steel targets to zero out. So let's see what this will do at 250 yards and 500. Even with these crazy conditions, all I've done is did a 4 MOA adjustment from a 100 yard zero and I was right on target for a shot, 250 yards. Up next is 500 yards and I got a cantaloupe and a big tub of water down there to catch a bullet. So at 500 yards, I noticed a 58 grain VMAX is starting to drop out. It took three shots to get on target with a total elevation of 15 MOA with three windage. But I got two consecutive hits on a cantaloupe, which is pretty cool. Now that I'm zeroed at 500, let's try to catch a bullet.
Ikea. Wow. Well, at least the jacket of it. There we go. Oh, no way. There's the there's the lead core. Check that out. 500 yards. Pretty good expansion. Pretty badass. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. In my opinion, I think this cartridge will work really good for some small game or even some varmint annihilation. Comment below and let me know what you think. In the future, I'll be testing out some cast loads out of this rifle. Well, guys, that's what I got for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Yeah.